Good evening, New Zealand. We reached the semi final stage of the English Carpet Bowls Association Festival of Bowls Cause event, and the semi final on the mat closest to us is Grant Lamy's team from New Zealand playing Ashley Diamonds. Grant Lamy, Avon Compton, Gary Lowe, and Terry Anderson versus Ashley Diamond, Paul Wright, Cherie Holmes and Suzanne Mackey. This is the first semi-final of the day. It will be followed by the semi-finals of the singles which involve Grant Lamy and Paul Wright in separate semi-finals. And then this afternoon after lunch we have the last 32, last 16 quarterfinals and semi finals of the pairs, followed by the finals. I will live stream all the semi finals involving New Zealanders and any finals involving New Zealanders. Big nights of celebration last night. Not a lot of sleep was had by some of this team, but it hasn't seemed to affect the bowls this morning. This carpet was used for the international last night. Ashley's team holding three shots at this stage. Although the bad news for this round is that they're both playing each other in the semi-final, it guarantees New Zealand having a team in the final. Happy birthday, Sue Meyer. Hope you're having a great day. The other semi final involves Neil Jolly, the English captain, two members of his team, Ali Hobbs and Sally Goodrich, and Sally's husband, Jim. Not sure about the other team. Avon's just played a good bowl. Move the kitty over to Blacks. Good evening Anne. Suzanne's been going well this week. I think she's had a great time. Good bowl from Paul Wright.
the New Zealanders are well trained, they keep away from the head so that I can keep showing it to you. Oh, well, you'll be able to show Sam the um, results when he wakes up on the morning fee. These events are still being played by the time limit. The 18 is 45 minutes. I've got a chair today, Alex. And because New Zealand's playing, I'm able to get a little bit closer to the action. How are you, Yvonne Crichton? After lunch, when the pairs start, because I'm only doing semi-finals where New Zealanders are involved, yeah. So I'll have some time. Yeah, just to, yeah. Just to yeah. see what the situation is. Yeah. 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 Oh, 
this is all new seed. Yeah. Good news is that means we've got a team in the final. That's what? The good news is that we've got a team in the final. Well, you've got a much longer history than the English. Yeah. And that makes a hell of a difference. Yeah, it was a cracking game up here last night. Oh, that, that first game. The first game between um, Michael Logan and uh, Ashley Diamond was a very, very good game. Yeah, I just want to find out what differences there are in your game, apart from the length of the carpet, what, what differences exist. For me, I find it's black a little light. Yeah, it's an outdoor jack though, isn't it? Uh, it's an outdoor jack, I just uh, It looks like it, yeah, four yeah. hours, I think. Yeah, it's an outdoor jack. I just can't believe how far they fly. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Yeah. So, it, is yours the same? No, we play, we, uh, we've got a um, smaller diameter jack. What, uh, have you? Well, it's probably a similar sort of weight. Yeah. Some of them fly, but... They have to be hit at that. Okay. It fascinates me all the differences. It's the same in short, Matt, but when they get together with the internationals, there's yeah. one set of rules. Yeah, that was one shot to Grant Lamy. Actually, Diamond leads 2-1 after two ends.
the ball by three hands. She squeezes the jack off the shot ball and holding two shots. Great bowl by Abrams, punched the jack out of the head. Only one down. Avon's shirt fitted him at the beginning of the week, but there's plenty of food to eat here. Doesn't take long for clothes to shrink. Scoring two shots, Ashley leads 4-1 after three ends. As well as the conventional scoreboard, we're using an electronic scoreboard in this game, easily visible from right around the hall. <laughs> and there's a conventional scoreboard. This is a control panel for the electronic <laughs> Here he's trailed the kitty to the back of the mat. Big challenge now is to draw the shot. Great ball. Very good. Let's get back down to some steady stuff.
Okay. So 40 minutes, Paul. I suspect they're at 45 minutes. There's some good end of mat poles being played here. Pity as it's the other end, so I can't get up close to the action. Games are seven ends or forty minutes. I'll get it right now. <laughs> and the time limits apply right through to and including the final. So seven ends or forty minutes. An end is deemed to have been started once the jack is placed. Bob Abraham, yes, Alex Sasser the question is right. The carpets that the competition has been played on are laid on and lawn bowls indoor arena, which is 40 metres by 40 metres. Usually the game is played in community halls with the carpets laid on wooden floors. Good ball there by Ashley Diamond.
One to Lame on that end. <coughs> Two four after four. Followed by a good one from Blue's Edge. Got two Catherine Ryans that are watching the question. Does that mean you're watching with both eyes open?
That's about it.
why you got the flap where you change your hand just to the inside. Tip it out. Flat. It's like, even to get that brown on Score three seven six play. Last end. The plan is to have a tripod pool. I certainly wouldn't recommend doing it without them. Yeah. 
It's got very difficult for back to school four shots. It's three bowls in a line. Diamond, Paul Wright, Cherie Holmes, and Suzanne Mackey are three to the final. Congratulations to Grant Lemieux, Avon Thompson, <laughs> Gary Lowe, and Terry Anderson on reaching the semi <laughs> Paul Wright and Grant Lemieux now have the single semi finals. I'll give the recorder a little bit of a rest and we'll be back to the shortly. <laughs> <laughs> 